You are about to enter the Chrome Dome. Alright, Chrome Domers, welcome back. I'm Old Ball Guy, aka OBG, and we. Okay, so the last fights were 4.7 and 4.5 or something like that with a GL in the last one. We went one and one because one guy showed up and one guy didn't. And so I feel like this week is a easy fight because he's only 3.2 mil. So, like, that's basically a gimme at this point, right? I don't know. So let's take a look at what he's got going on. He does have a Relic 5 Reven, a Relic 2 JKA, a Relic 1 uh, Basilia Sean, and that's about it. Uh, oh, yeah, and a, and a Relic 3 Reven. So he's got a lot of gear 12s, a lot, a lot, a lot of gear 12s. I mean, that's pages and pages of gear 12s. But technically, we have four relics. He has four relics. I don't know. But he also put almost all, he also has like almost no fleet whatsoever. That's just, that's just sad looking right there. It's not a plan in the world. You got to. JKA and whatever that is, whatever. Uh, so the interesting thing is, is that he's got he put almost everything on defense, which makes me think he's probably not even gonna try. He might break this side over here. So he put his Reven, his relic Reven over here with his kit with the kids, and he put relic. JKR and Relic Bestia on this side with a Gear 12, Seven Star Hoda, and Grandmaster Yoda, and Jolie. So I think I can bust this with Vader. I don't know, but I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. You know how that goes, right? Okay. Uh, so. Let's give this a shot. Because I think this guy might show up and get very frustrated at what we're going to give him. So here we go. That JKR is very fast, but so are we against a bunch of Jedi. I didn't even bother looking at the speed. Okay. Very, very important tip here for those of you that run the Palpatine Vader squad. The normal opening that I use is the AoE Crush followed by the Merciless Massacre because the AoE Crush hits five guys with a whole bunch of debuffs and gives you a bunch of turn meter, you get immediately another turn. Don't do that here. They have tenacity up. I've made the mistake before. They will come and wreck you because of that. So you come in and that was a kill, I think, on Yoda. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and drop. We're going to drop the AOE now. See, all of, them, all of them resisted. All right, that's fine. You can take her down. That's fine with me. And a little bit of that and a little bit of this. And a whole bunch of that. Followed by a whole bunch of that. Yep, that wasn't great, but it's something that happened. Let's get on. Let's get on Hoda. Yeah, that's not great. All right, I said get on Hoda. Oh man, they are coming in hot, 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 hot. This is not good. Not good, my friend. Uh, I guess we go in on Reven. Oh, no, no, this is bad. This is real. Oh, this is real bad. Real, real bad. Real bad. Nobody's shocked. Nobody can do anything. All right. Uh, I don't know that we can get out of this. No, it's not going to do it. Yep. We're in trouble. Okay. So that went bad. All right, let's try. I don't. I don't think we can power through that. There's just too much speed and too much power coming through there with Hoda and Grandmaster Yoda and everything. So let's try to bust this side, and 
hopefully we can bust off enough of these. We're going to go CLS first. Now, normally, CLS is a great counter uh, to Reven because you can one-shot down Bastia, and that really evens the game up for you. But I don't have that kind of power. So we're going to go here to JK. Yep, that was expected. That was a lot of that. That was bad. All right, and here we go here. Oh, oh this is not going to go well. All right. Well, this has been fun. Do we go in? Let's go in with with Grievous and see if we can take pick off a couple of these guys. Now that they've used their big shots, maybe we can get through. If we can get it down to just Reven, uh, we can beat him. Hey, easy there, buddy. Man. All right, let's go here. Uh, I'm just going to go and hit this one. Let's go with the invulnerability. I don't know if this will hold. It might. All right, and... Okay. So they have built a I didn't think they didn't remember if they had a debuffer or not. But uh still working on Bastia. Oh there it went. Yeah, I knew they had they had something in there. I couldn't remember what it was, but there it was. So I don't know that we're gonna get through these bad boys. Uh let's go in with the Padme. See, can we break through this front wall? See, the thing that I'm missing with Padme here is, uh, yeah, go ahead and hit Bestia hard, as hard as possible. She's not dying. They're not dying. I am dying. They are not dying. Um, the power of the best of the uh, Padme team is with Jedi Knight Anakin. If you have him and uh, Padme with their with their Zeta, so they get turns off of each other, then you end up a lot. You can as soon as somebody drops down. Anakin gets a turn, he AoEs, Padme gets a turn, she she does protection up, and the rest of the, hit, the the debuffs don't land. So you lose that when you toss Anakin over to the dark side, like we do. All right. Well, this is the last thing we have left. Trying to avoid another back-to-back 10-point -back showings. Do we have it in us to avoid a 10-point showing? Let's see, find out. Uh, let's go with the uh, with the protection, and let's go ahead and hit her. And that's not going to do it now because they got that going on. Yeah, hit that with the pop. Goes the ow! There goes the weasel. The weasel's gone. Pop went the weasel. All right. That is back-to-back 10-point -back showings. I am super going to enjoy Bronzium next week, next season. That's going to be even more fun. Uh, you know, we haven't had a lot of good matchups lately. I mean, our round, was it 4.68? 4 Five nine, and now our easy fight of uh, only a three point two with a relic Reven and a relic JKR. So that's where we land, guys. 
Till next time, OBG out.